One way of getting rich in real estate is using the concept of trading up. Back in 2020, I bought a property in a little city called Coolidge, Arizona. I bought the property for about $65,000. Now that property was worth probably 100 to 110 at the time, but I was able to buy it under market value because I bought it from a wholesaler. Now I put in about 20 to 25,000 in order to fix it up. And then once it was fixed up, we rented it out for about two years or so. And we just recently sold that property for $189,000. Now, a lot of that was because of the increase in values when it came to the pandemic and, and all real estate values went crazy up. We just sold it and I got about $90,000 from the sale of that property. I am standing in front of another property that I just bought on the same day that I sold the other one. So again, I bought the other one for 65. I put about 25 into fixing it up. I sold it for 189 a few years later. This property that I just bought, I bought for $211,000. We're probably going to put in about $5,000 to fix it up. And then it should be worth, according to the comparables, about $285,000. So I'm pretty excited about it, but I want you to come in and take a look at this. This is what it looks like, or this is what it looked like right when we got into the property. So come check this out. So you got a two car garage, you got this little mini garage. This is where you keep the golf cart. See, there used to be a golf course in the back. And uh, so a lot of these houses have these little golf cart garages, but check out what it looked like when I got into the property. So here we are. So if you go in, check out these couches. These were left by the last person that lived in this property. You got the TV, the couches, nice granite countertops. Now I know the style isn't um, as up to date as it was a few years back when they put it in. You see the nice tile. Again, I would say that this is very much the style of the properties in Arizona probably about 10 to 15 years ago. So we can go and we can paint it if we want to um, so that we can kind of update that. But what was really cool was I got these leather couches. I've always wanted nice leather couches and these are nice worn leather couches. So I'm super stoked about that. That came with the house. And then you have this table right here. Check out that table. Isn't that awesome? Nice chairs. And let's uh, go take a look at some of these bedrooms. All right, let's see. Here we go. There's a bathroom right here, so it's a little half bath. If we go here, you notice this bedroom with the bedding, right? This is the bathroom right here. So again, you see the insert. The insert's a little bit old, so we could do something if we wanted to upgrade it. Check out this one. Nice wooden beds, still here. I'm just super excited. So uh, let me tell you what we're gonna need to fix up with the property, okay? So there was a cat that they had, and so the cat kind of clawed at some of these. So you see this right here, some of the claw marks that the cat did. And then if you go to the master bedroom, and you look up here, you see some water damage, okay, right there. And on the wall, you see just like kind of this little line of water damage right here and you have some damage right there, okay? So we're gonna have a roofer come and uh, kind of take a look at it and see what we need to do in order to fix the, uh, the roof, make sure that it's not leaking. But then you have the shower right here. Looks pretty good. I know that it's a little bit cloudy or foggy, but we can go ahead and clear that up. And then you have the carpet in there will need to be replaced because again, with the cat, you see, these scratch marks right here, so we'll have to replace that. So when you buy a house from a wholesaler, um, usually it's because there's a distressed seller or a distressed property. In this property, I think that there was, it's not that distressed to be honest. So I'm budgeting maybe about $5,000 to fix everything up. If I had to put a new roof on, I could, and that would probably cost me maybe twenty. dollars uh, twenty to twenty-five thousand um, to put on the same type of roof. This house is a three-bedroom, two-bath. It has, um, or it's about almost eighteen hundred square feet. Let's go take a look at the outside. So check that out. The yard furniture, which I think looks really nice. They left their 
drill. And then check out this little find right over here. See that? Got ourselves a new jacuzzi. So, uh, you know, it's not fully, you know, it's pretty nasty inside. But what I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get somebody in to see if we can uh, get this working. Because if that's the case, then what I would do is I would take this up north to our cabins up north. Because jacuzzis in cabins do really, really well. And I wouldn't want to leave it here. Um, cause I wouldn't want to have to take care of all the maintenance here in, in this property. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update going back to the concept of trading up. So this is how it goes. When we got the property in Coolidge for 65,000 and we put the 20,000 into it or 25,000, what happened was we were able to, um, get a hard money loan to buy it. I think we got a second position note to help us with the uh, down payment and the rehab. And then we went to, um, get a loan on it. We were able to refinance it and get, I think it was the majority, if not all of our money out of the refinance of that property. And then what happened is we rented it out again. I think it was for two years, maybe a little bit longer. And as we rented it out, we were, you know, getting a few hundred dollars a month in cash flow. Now we didn't expect the market to go so crazy as it did um, over the last couple of years, but because it did, we had so much equity in that property. It didn't make a lot of sense to just, you know, keep the property and, and keep renting it out and earn a couple hundred dollars a month. It made more sense to go ahead and sell that property. Now we would have done a 1031 exchange and, and been able to exchange the proceeds from that one sale and buy this property, but, and then not have to, to pay taxes at that point, but we could have delayed or deferred the taxes until we sold this property. But rather than that, because they're in two separate entities, we just went ahead and we sold that property. We got the gain from that. And then I'm buying this property in one of my own LLCs. But what's so great about that, like imagine what you could do. Let's say we sold that property, we got that $90,000 gain, then we take that and we put it into this property. You know, we buy it at the 212 and, you know, immediately the value goes up to that, you know, 285, 290 mark because that's what the properties in this neighborhood are selling for. But the cool thing is I created between the, the basically my all in at like 90 to 100 of that first property. I take that gain, I bring it in here, and then all, all of a sudden I was able to gain another like 70 to $80,000 by trading up. So uh, there's a lot of people that say, you know, just buy and hold for the long run. Well, you can do that, but if you have access to deal flow, a lot of times if I can go and I can buy a property and I can, you know, rent it out for a little while, create some equity in that, and then if I can go and, and take that property and I can buy another property, especially if I can buy these properties under their market value, Value, that is the way of going on the fast track to creating wealth through real estate investing. So again, the concept of trading up can make you a lot of money when it comes to real estate investing. My name is Shiloh Lundahl. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you aren't a subscriber to my channel, it'd be really great if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel. I try to give really great tips and um, techniques of how to invest effectively in real estate in order to create wealth. So thanks for watching and I hope that you have a fantastic day when it comes to real estate investing.